it's time for the Anwell guessing game to begin for the Android users. Will your phone get Android O the next major release of Android? Android O is going to arrive soon, and while many are still waiting for Android N, it's still worth looking forward. Android O is Google's eighth full version of Android and brings one major shift in strategy that might mean we're not waiting for updates as long as we have been. Called Project Treble, the system files have been rearranged so that it's easier for the company who made your phone, and the company who made the parts it's built from, to update their software so that it works with updated versions of the Android Core. In that video, you are going to discover if your phone will get Android O in the next months. Note that for the moment, we will just answer to the question if the phone will get Android O and know when. This is an easy one. Google supports its phones with full software updates for two years and security patches for three years. And it doesn't sell a lot of models. These are the phones that will be updated to Android O. In the list, we have the Google Pixel, the Google Pixel XL, the Nexus 6P and the Nexus 5X. Of course, we expect to see a new Pixel or two before the holidays, and those will ship with Android O. Samsung not only makes more phones than any other company, it also makes more different models than any other company. We're going to focus on the high-end models here, and here are our best guesses until Samsung gives us the word from above. In that list, we have The Note 8 will ship with Android N but will be updated to Android O, the Galaxy S8 the Galaxy S8 Plus, the Galaxy S8 Active, the Galaxy S7, the Galaxy S7 Edge, the Galaxy S7 Active. For the others models, we have Galaxy A7, version 2017, Galaxy A5, version 2017, Galaxy A3, version 2017, Galaxy J7, version 2017, Galaxy J5, version 2017, Galaxy Note Fan Edition, Galaxy Tab S3, Galaxy C9 Pro, Galaxy C7 Pro, Galaxy J7 Prime. No surprises here. Samsung could probably shoot or an Android O onto the Galaxy S6 and Note 5 series, but the user experience would suffer. Spending time and money to make something worse isn't a good thing and we don't expect it to happen. Once again, we're going to focus on the high-end models. And once again, this is pretty easy to predict. We think these phones will see Android O. The LG V30 will be updated if it doesn't ship with Android O, the LG V20, the LG G6. The G5 is conspicuously absent. That's because we just don't think LG is going to update it. It sold poorly, had a very mixed and mediocre customer reaction and LG would probably just like to forget the whole module thing. So would we. When you think of Motorola, you think of the cell phone. It invented them. But you don't think of updates, at least not timely ones. Here are our early predictions of which phones get the Android O treatment. The Z series, the Z2 series, the G4 series and the G5 series. We include Verizon specific and prepaid models here because Verizon no longer loves to hold updates from you. Besides, other than Google proper, Motorola phones are the easiest to update. HTC has scaled back the number of models it makes, which is probably a good thing seeing as it's struggling a bit when it comes to finances. That also makes it simple to predict which phones will be updated to Android O. Here's how we see it. HTC 10 HTC U11, HTC Bolt, and HTC U Ultra. Huawei is the world's number three smartphone maker, but the majority of its products aren't sold in the US also, while technically a separate company we're dropping our predictions for honor here. P10 series, P9 series, Mate 9, Honor 8, and the Honor 6X. Sadly, the Kentucky Fried Chicken phone probably won't get any finger-licking updates. I'm including the Mate 9 and Honor 6X on this list because we have a good vibe about them. I may have to rethink that, we'll have to see. HMD Global has confirmed to TechRadar that it is planning to bring Android O to its upcoming Nokia 6, 
Nokia 5 and Nokia 3 smartphones, stating the smartphones will get the Android O update once the new release is available from Google for their OEM partners, the same way HMD Global is committed to the monthly Android security updates. We'd expect it to also eventually appear on the rumored Nokia 8.2, thought to be launching on 16th of August. Sony Mobile is yet to state which of its Xperia phones will get Android O, but speculation is already circulating based on the devices that should be eligible. That leaves a list that looks like this. Sony's Perian XZ Premium Sony's Perian XZ Sony's Perian XA1 Sony's Perian L1 Sony's Perian X Compact Sony's Perian XZ Sony's Perian X Performance Sony's Perian X Sony's Perian XA1 Ultra There are almost 15,000 different Android phones so we can cover them all. But a few need talked about when it comes to future update prophecy. The OnePlus 3 and 3T and OnePlus 5 will be updated to Android O. OnePlus no longer caters only to enthusiasts, but they know their market and will update the phones that need it. The BlackBerry Key 1 will see an update, though it will take longer than many would like. BlackBerry has always been slow and methodical when it comes to big platform level updates and this isn't going to change. That's it for now. Remember, this is early and this is just some educated guessing and a few hints and industry rumors. We fully expect every company to announce something once we get an official release of Android O and we'll keep coming back to keep this page updated when it happens. Don't hesitate to share your info concerning your phone in comments. If you want to discover more Android related content, don't hesitate to subscribe to the S Sorrels channel.